So the sporting bit, Halden Gold Cup kicks off day three then of week two and this is a grade two handicap over two miles and a furlong and the top one is answer lane for him it's bulletproof for daniel french blackmore instrument martin Vigham, shanghai lily graham clutterbuck locked in james shea false horizon leon van rensburg kyle rear t rogers tushuk tash for vinnie gerard arvico tiger Derek hinton and glenn deer for alex cherry so ten of them then facing the starter and away they go it's in uphill and up the straight as well towards this first fence and this two mile and one and a half furlong grade two handicap and they're up the first and they're all safely over it with Ansel Lane the early leader by about two lengths as they come up past the stand and the paddock with Kyle Rear being pushed up into second there Tushuk Cash in third so the greens have it and the greens also at the back as well with bulletproof the back marker so racing downhill now then and it's Ansel Lane has opened up the lead of about four or five lengths to Kyle Rear in second. Then Tushuk Tash is third. Wider Matrak Arvico Tider in the pink jacket is fourth as they take the second, which is the water jump. And they're all safely over that one, as they always are. I don't recall anybody ever falling at a water jump in any of the SO6 or 7 races I've done in the past. And they're all safely over to third as well, although one or two of them gave it a little bit of a wallop. And Ansel Lane continues to show the way then as they come to this ditch. And all there's a fauna at the back there, Bulletproof has gone, so Bulletproof is not fence-proof, and he's out of the race. And Ansel Lane's the leader, Tushuk Tash is second, Shanghai Lily's moved through into third for Graham Clutterbot, then Kyle Rear is fourth and locked in his five, Arvico Tiger in the pink is wide, with False Horizon and Blackmore Instrument on the inside of that one, just behind that one is the new back marker, Glenn Deer. As they make their way down towards the next end with Ansa Lane, a good four or five lengths clear of Tushuk Tash in second. And Kyle Rear back in third, and False Horizon and Shanghai Lily. Blackmore Instrument in the orange jacket getting a little bit close on the inside. As they race uphill again, this is an uphill and downhill track, this one. And we've got a test in two miles really in the uphill bits. And this is a pretty steep uphill climb now towards the next fence. And Ansa Lane is showing the way undulating course with false horizon in second and Kyle Rear and Tushuk Tash together with Shanghai Lily on their outside Blackmore Instrument just tucked in behind them as they take that plain one that was the fifth and they've got 12 in all to take and Ansel Lane has been in the lead all the way but false horizon is looming on the outside a bad mistake at the back there by locked in but a particularly good jump by the Grand Clutterbuck horse Shanghai Lily as they come to this plain one and they're over that one safely as well He's locked in, just taking it carefully at the back. But Ansel Lane is clear in front. The lead's only two lengths now as they come to this ditch. Uh, good jump there by Alex Cherry's Glenn Deer. Seeing that one move a little bit closer. Blackmore Instruments also making a forward move now as well. But it's Ansel Lane who's got the lead of about a length to Blackmore Instrument and False Horizon together. Then Shanghai Lily and Tushuk Tash with Glenn Deer on the inside and Kyle Rear on the outside. Bit of a gap back to Arvico Tiger and a bigger gap back to Locked In, who's the back marker at this stage then. As they race down towards the final four furlongs in the Halden Gold Cup. And it's Ansel Lane in the lead from Blackmore Instrument and False Horizon together. Going well on the outside. Shanghai Lenny Tushuk Tash now being pushed along. Glenn Deer being pulled out for a run. And Kyle Rear after that one. Arvico Tigers going wide. This one I think we can forget. Locked in. They race down now towards the fourth from home. And it's Ansel Lane in the lead. Ansel Lane comes this fourth last. Takes it nicely. Jumps it well. Shanghai Lenny is second. False Horizon third. Blackmore Instrument now. Memory pushed along as they take the third last. But jump that one really well. Ansel Lane is still in front now, being pressed by Shanghai Lily. Blackmore Instrument chasing him. This is the second last. Oh, and Blackmore Instrument went straight through it, and Shanghai Lily's taking the lead. It's Shanghai Lily who takes it up there and begins to pull away from the long time leader. Ansel Lane racing down towards the final fence. Looks like Shanghai Lily's just got to jump it. Pops over it nicely. Blackmore Instrument went through it again, and it's Shanghai Lily that's going to take the hard and gold cut for Graham Clutter. We'll towards the line. Shanghai Lily's going to take it. Long time leader Ansel Lane is sick, and then false horizon. Blackmore Instrument touch up Tashin Rico Tiger. And locked in was the last one to finish and I'm going to feel sorry for that leader lid all the way around but apart from where it counted but Shanghai Lily always looked to be going well and here's another one for Graham Clutterbuck He's having a great start to the season. So Shanghai Lily takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Then Ansel Lane for Hems was second. False Horizon, Leon Van Rensburg third. Blackmore Instrument for Martin Leedham fourth. And Tushuk Tash for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth.